CNN. The morning markets kick off with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. We're trying to find McQueen videos. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, hey. it's, oh, we got to play nice. Everyone's watching. Did you say hello? Tell them. What'd you do? Did we, hey. did we go ice skating? Oh, I think we did. I think we went ice skating today, folks, for the first time. Hey. Hey. Are we going to make it through a half hour today? What do you think? Hey. Hey, we got to be nice. Okay. That was my fault. That was not the No. Guy. We're going to see if we can find a video as we break down some of the action. Uh, this is filler time I'm until the chairman appears at 2.30. Which one? You're going to have to find it. I thought we were going to do the show together while you watch some videos. No. No? Oh. Oh. There you go. Go ahead. Now you can swipe. Right there. We're swiping YouTube videos here, folks. Google. Which one? Which one? Uh, so let's talk about what just happened in yields, man. Uh, some of the cherry pick numbers that they're talking about over on the Bloomberg live feed over here. The two year yield, 20 basis points lower. You what? talk about lower yield, okay? Their market is pricing in 130 basis points of cuts in 2024, up from 1.1% before the FOMC statement. I just stated that the 10 year is now at 4.1%. We're at 4.09. As um, I calculated that median projection for so they have inflation ticking down, they have unemployment remaining little unchanged, indicating Fed officials growing confidence they can cool price gains without the big job losses for unemployment. Yeah, acknowledges that inflation has eased over the past year but remains elevated, strong pace of economic growth. Daddy. What are we going to watch, Tommy? So the dot pot. Of rate projections shows a wide range of estimates of how much the Fed should cut next year. Median number is 75 basis points. Eight anticipate fewer reductions. Five expect deeper cuts. That's a number with a lot of variance. We talk about variance sometimes on the program. That's a number with a lot of variance. When you have eight under you, five above you, you pick a median number. We're watching Spider Man, just like on your shirt. We got Spider Man, we got Lightning McQueen, folks. And yeah, we were playing hockey. And I'm going to get some hockey pictures up. Uh, we were ice skating, to be fair. We were public skating. But the Tampa TGH, yeah, TGH Iceplex in Brandon. If you're ever looking for great public skating somewhere around the Tampa Brandon area, cool part about that is they have tons of hockey skates they rent. Uh, public skating today before school gets out. We had a good time. We're back for the Fed Day. And uh, yeah, it should be an interesting one. So a lot of McQueens, Tommy. FOMC votes unanimously to leave the benchmark rate unchanged, so it's a unanimous decision. Yeah, huge moves. We're going to jump around to the yields, man. So there's your dot plot. And so let's see. I mean, you can see the range. We're at 5.4% we're at basically right now, right? We watched Drop Doc. And so by 2024, only one participant thinks we're going to be under 4%. By 2025, though, basically everybody thinks we're going to be under 4%. You're going to be somewhere around 3.5% in the median area there. And by 2026, we're back to 25 to 3%. And then check it out. Longer term? Yeah, you got a couple outliers here with the longer term number. Interesting there, right? Three participants on the dot plot see the longer term number stuck at 3.5 or higher. Odds of a mar rate, March rate cut above 60%. Ooh, this might accelerate quickly if that's where the market's talking about. You get the dollar index dropping to 103.36. That's going to put a bid under gold. Gold trading at 2016. If you haven't checked out the gold report, folks, great time to do it. When you got that potential for yields pulling back, dollar weakness, that could put a bit into gold. We jump over to the dollar yen. Dollar yen drops to 144.21. Had a great discussion with our man Teddy Kegstad this morning. He comes on every Wednesday at 40 past the hour. Is he dancing? 
Is he dancing? Oh, not dancing anymore. Nope, he's not dancing anymore. All right, let's see how some of the Fang stocks, some of the Magnificent Seven. Apple, up more than a full percent. Microsoft, not quite the same performance, but they were lower. They're actually flat right now for Microsoft shares. Amazon shares catch a bid. Everything catches a bid. Amazon up three-tenths percent right now. You jump over to Tesla on the heels of their recall. Still off 1.3 percent, but they catch a bid as well. Meta shares up half a percent right now. Netflix, whoo, there you go. Netflix up by 3 percent right now. Disney up by 1 percent. See how the banks are doing on that number. J.P. Morgan up by 4 tenths percent. Bank of America up by 1.6 percent. There's an acceleration for you. Yeah, let's just keep jumping around to the charts as we break this down because it's moving pretty quickly. Let's back that out. Let's put it on a 15 minute and that's quite a move. Let's take a look at this on the daily, man. We're blowing through the 50% number on this entire pullback from 116.18. I mean, just remember how quickly we went from 117 essentially down to 105. And just like that, we're going to be pushing 112. The 618 is 112, 11 approximately, and maybe that's an area, maybe 113 area, another point and a half higher. Okay, you play that game. Maybe a point and a half higher, 113 ish, somewhere in that area, kind of where you chopped around for the better part of June, that area that you're trading into at the end of May. Maybe that's where you find your first area of resistance. But if things come at you that quick, man, you know, we only have what? One meeting before March, right? Hold on, I pulled this up this morning. Here we go. We sure do. You got a January meeting and then you got March. So if they're going to come with it, they're going to indicate maybe it's a March meeting. Going to be interesting to see what the chairman has to say. Is he going to like how the market interpreting is interpreting their words as of 2.30 or is he going to push back? Uh, is the market getting a little bit ahead of itself? I don't know. We'll see. That's your 10-year. Let's jump over to the two-year. Look at that move, man. 102.16, we're up by 12 ticks. Huge move for such a short duration. Five-year breaks above those recent highs that we had just a few days ago as well, with the S&Ps up by 30, NASDAQ 100 up by 6 tenths percent right now. Yeah, it's seeming like it's setting up as a pretty dovish statement. And we'll see if Chairman Powell follows through, though. Just going through some of the analysis. Yeah, we've seen the first move get faded before, but I don't think so. The market likes the fact that the Fed's talking about 75 basis points of cuts next year. Because remember, they're going to remain pessimistic on that number. They're not going to tell the market that they're going to get ahead of the market, right? They're never going to say the market right now where they still have work to do. We're going to cut more than you guys even think. Don't worry about it. You guys can ease up. No, the point of all this restrictive fiscal policy is to tighten up the markets. The moment they tell you that that's over, that's going to undo much of what they've done. So it makes sense that they would be on the light side. And if they're saying 75 is their call, maybe they're willing to go a full point, a point and a quarter next year is maybe where the market is thinking. All right. Are we going to get all time highs, man? What do we got? We got 90 points. In the NASDAQ 100, no. Yes, 90 points. In the NASDAQ 100, we got less than 80. In the S&Ps, one more segment before the chairman speaks. Come on back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 Internationally at 727-873-7618 Welcome back, folks. Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien. Let's see. Does it try? Let's see if we can get it going for you, Tommy. Ah, oh, it's not letting you work, buddy. You know what is amazing, and I've talked about it before, is that on YouTube, the, the thumbnails are the best thumbnails around are the ones that are sponsored content getting you to click off the site to some different URL, uh, which throws a wrench in things, to put it lightly. So we get the markets continuing higher, man. S&P's up by 31. Tommy, we got green on the board. Check it out. You got to tell them they're watching you. Hey, tell them what we did. Did we did we go skating today, Tommy? Yeah, we sure did, folks. Let's show them a few pictures of us skating before we get off, okay? Oh, this is a good one. How are we going to do this? There we go. All right. Perfect. First of all, folks, you got to see this prior... And I know it's Fed Day. We're coming back with the chairman live in 10 minutes, folks. Uh, that's not even the good one. Let's get the one with your eyes open, right? Yeah. We were Spider-Man this morning. That's his big brother's costume. You got to love it. Tommy, are you Spider-Man? Hey, we're showing everybody. Right here, your picture. Hey, mister. Right here. You see the picture? Tell them. Yeah, you were Spider-Man this morning. You were. What were you doing? Should we show him skating, Tommy? Oh, I think we should, because this was his first time skating. He's got his Spider-Man jersey on. Uh, so pretty cool place. We'll give him a free plug for sure. And it's actually where the Lightning practice as well in Brandon occasionally. Uh, and you see the type of skates they have for kids for rental. Not bad. Some nice, decent hockey skates on there. Oh, what are you doing, mister? There we are. He's got his Spider-Man helmet on. Safety first. We were out on the, the, the ice. A little bit there. Were you skating good? Oh, you were skating with Daddy, weren't you? And there he was, finishing up the day. Um, so it was a great time. No, I want my Patrick back. Are you tired from a big day, Tommy? Hey. I, I want my Patrick back. Yeah? Well, we're going to wait until after the show so we can hear you. Back. We'll wait till afterwards. We're trying to get him out of that I one, folks. I want my Patrick back. What's Spider-Man doing? Tell him. They can't see. They can't see. Did you say hello to everybody? 
Hey, hello, everybody. I don't. I don't. I didn't say hello. No, you haven't said hello yet. That's okay. They're watching you. Yeah, they're getting ready for Chairman Powell to talk at two thirty. He's going to be live. Are we going to listen to the chairman's press conference right here live on Tiger TV? I think we should do that. Uh, while I'm here, folks, don't forget about Tiger Dollars. Don't forget about our man Tim Ord, The Science of Market Tops. Tim's coming up tomorrow. Basil Chapman's got a webinar a week from today for the opening call subscribers. I encourage you to check out the gold report. Gold accelerating higher yet again. It would make sense that if we do have yields dropping, we have dollar weakness. That could put a bid in commodities. You're seeing gold move to the upside today on that relationship in a big way. You got gold contract up $27 now, 2020. Uh, still well off. That spike high we got of $2,152 just last Sunday, about eight days ago. But nonetheless, you got gold moving higher. If you're gonna sign up for any of those, Tim Ward tomorrow night, the science of market tops. Basil Chapman, the opening call a week from today. The Gold Report. First thing you do is, folks, go to the front page of TFNN, check out that Tiger Dollar sale. Wow. I had my mug today, too. I had it out there. I was drinking a latte out of it. Uh, and you get a TFNN Tiger mug. They got a Tiger mug, Tommy. Rawr. Can we growl? No, we're not feeling it today. Okay, that's all right. He had a big morning. Uh, first time on skates, I tell you. It's not easy, folks. And my back is paying for it a little bit. But it was the best time ever. All right, let's see how the VIX is doing, as the market is only going to go up in the future. I kid. VIX, 12.23. Yesterday, we hit 11.81. And interesting, we actually get a little bit of a spike there. I mean, 12. That's a minute chart just to see the reaction after the press conference comes out at about 2 o'clock. We're sitting at 12 and change. Yeah, well, what gets in the way of this market between making all-time highs, man? Well... The chairman could get in the way in about seven minutes, but I don't know if he's going to get in the way after that dot plot. I mean, breaking that down one step further, and where were we? Yeah, the two-year yield just dropped 20 basis points to 4.53%. They slashed their projections for PC inflation to 2.8 this year. And core PCE to 3.2, that's their preferred inflation gauge. They're at five and a quarter percent. They think their preferred inflation gauge is 2.8 to 3.2 percent, depending on headline or core. Bloomberg Economics, Bloomberg Economics Chief U.S. Economist Anna Wong, I agree with this to some degree. And, you know, we were talking, right? Kevin Hinks was talking about it. Many people saying, you know, maybe they come a little hawkish right now, saying the market might be getting ahead of itself. When you add up the dot plots and you add up their projections, they really didn't push back. Uh, the rate hold was widely expected, but the question was what extent the Fed would acknowledge the end of the tightening cycle. We now have our answer. The updated dot plot and tweaks to the policy statement, both quite dovish, are a strong indication that the tightening cycle is over. Our baseline is for the Fed to begin cutting rates in March 2024. Pop the bubbly, folks. Pop the champagne. I mean, if they wanted to do it in March, they had to get ahead of it this meeting because they only have January. So they wouldn't want to surprise the market in January with only one meeting. Maybe you give an indication. January, you give a greater indication. And by March, um, you end up making that potential cut. And that March meeting, when's that March meeting, Tommy? My birthday, March 20th. Line it up, baby. My birthday, March 20th. I can't forget that one, right? Uh, S&Ps trading higher by 35 points right now. NASDAQ 100 up by 133. We jump over to crude. Yeah, even crude gets you a bid. You got a weaker dollar, you're going to get more expensive commodities. Crude, 69.56 right now, priced in U.S. dollars. The gold contract continuing to climb, 2021 right now. And we jump to the all-important notes and bonds. Boy, and this is not stopping, right? It is not. The 10-year, up more than a full point. The 30-year, up a point and a half. The five-year, up 25 ticks. All right, let's pull up the, the yield curve as we wrap this up a bit. As the chairman begins talking in four and a half minutes, right at 2.30, we'll air that live coming up right here on Tiger TV. 
And yeah, look at the mammoth moves. A one year down 14 basis points to 5%, basically. A two year down 20 basis points. The three year 20 basis points. The five year down 18 basis points. The 10 year down 14. And even the 30 year down eight to nine basis points. Uh, interesting. Along the curve, especially out the two year, the five year, the projections from where we go. All right, folks, stay tuned. So we'll be coming back. That was a quick one, Tommy. We're only doing a half hour today. We're going to have to say goodbye to everybody. You say bye? They're going to hang up. Ready? Bye, everybody. Oh, we're a little tired today. That's okay. I know we had a big morning. Huh? My password. Okay, we'll get it for you. We had a big morning. We were on the ice at 11 o'clock, folks, till 1215. Uh, S&Ps. Are we stalling a bit? We're at 47.32. We're stones throw away from all-time highs. That's it. We're done. You hear the music? Yeah, hear the music? We're done. Yeah? You going to say bye? Bye, everybody. Say thank you. Yeah. Stay tuned for Chairman Powell. Stay tuned for Chairman Powell. Come. Ho, ho, ho!